So it's widely agreed that life started at least 3.7 billion years ago, but there is some evidence of life from as early as 4 billion years ago. And for the longest time, scientists have been interested in this idea of the origin of life. Like, today all cells have to come from other cells, so where did the first cell come from? And you know, Charles Darwin, back in 1871, had this idea of some little pond with ammonia and salt and heat and electricity, and in this pond, proteins somehow just formed. And Alexander Parin, about 50 years later, had a similar idea that sunlight could convert inorganic compounds into organic ones, um, and life could have begun that way. But regardless, the first people who actually tested these ideas were Stanley Miller and Harold Urey. So what they did was they took these flasks and they put water, methane, ammonia, put hydrogen, all things that would have been in the early atmosphere, and they boiled it and they shocked it and they looked at what came out. And remarkably, they found a bunch of simple organic molecules and even amino acids. And this was groundbreaking because it meant that life, or at least the building blocks of life, could have spontaneously formed, right? And that's pretty cool because from there, it could have evolved to palm trees and woolly mammoths and bacteria and all the other things that have ever lived on this planet.